Hey everyone, thanks again for watching this video series. Making In making this project, I realized that I just always wanted this to be something that gives me an excuse to learn Unreal. So there was never exactly, or there's never been exactly a specific goal in mind. I was just using all of this, this exercise uh, as just an excuse to learn the bells and whistles of Unreal. So in the course of this, I, I had a change of mind in terms of what I wanted to do with uh, these butterflies. And I just thought it would be cool to have them in a different art style. This is supposed to be a dreamlike uh, sequence or dreamlike uh, project. So realism isn't exactly the, high, the highest priority, I think. I like this to be a little trippy and even a bit, um, I don't know how you would say it, a bit uh, uh, artsy or or uh, abstract. So with that in mind, I decided I wanted to make these butterflies different and make them those stylistic glowing butterflies that you might have seen in other things. For example, if you have ever been a, a Zelda fan, you would know uh, these these kinds of butterflies. Also, I wasn't really exactly 100% comfortable with the butterflies being just a flat plane. I don't know, I just always thought it was a bit weird. So what I did is I went back into Blender and I started to just redo it. So I made, I made it at least a little bit more three-dimensional, especially in the body of the butterfly itself. And then textured it up a bit so I can get a visual idea in terms of um, how it's going to look like. And then I textured it up a bit just to get a visual idea on what it's going to all look like. Um, it's not the most detailed model ever, but, but I didn't need it because you're not going to ever see this thing up close and personal. So there's not a whole lot of fine detail and the, probably the topology is not the, the greatest work I've done. But it was good enough for what it's going to be used for. So once that was all said and done, I just exported the uh, components of the, the new butterfly into Unreal and started to just um, texture and uh, shade it. So that wasn't exactly the most challenging part. It was pretty easy just to get that the the look and that glowing look and feel of it and even set it up for the blueprints now the challenging part was just integrating this actually into the project itself i made the erroneous mistake in the beginning by trying to recreate the blueprint and i realized that wasn't uh the best thing to do because it just wasted a lot of time I realized in the middle of it that I should just replace the assets that I have already with the new butterfly style instead of just trying to reinvent the wheel. So this required a little bit of tweaking in the blueprints as I changed certain parameters and renamed some things, but it's all in all the same exact functionality. I didn't go in there and add any new fundamental new code, except for a couple of things actually. What I added was um, uh, a bloom effect. I wanted to create this, I think, interesting effect where Whenever the butterflies get spooked, they actually bloom and glow in even more intensity. Just like a visual moniker or a visual identifier when you know they've been spooked. So that required me just to create a new kind of events, uh, new kinds of events inside the uh, butterfly blueprint. Also, I just had to add a couple of properties that allowed uh, one to change the glow intensity and also the, the colors of the butterflies too. So when that was all said and done, I also had one more idea in terms of um, allowing myself to turn 
that the glowing effect on and off so you can so it can always revert back to uh, the original butterfly look where it actually looks like more of a traditional butterfly and then I did this where I just made one of the butterflies have that look I think it's it's just a little neat art di uh, direction thing kind of just creates a little interesting scenario where you have this one butterfly that's just normal looking and then the rest of them are these glowing fairy like butterflies so when this was all said and done um i just i was pretty satisfied with what it looked like um it didn't take that long to do it all it was actually just done within a night and i think with, with everything i've learned so far um, it was easy for me to implement uh, this kind of change and i really like the look of it Now the whole look is not done yet. There's one more thing I'm going to do on the next episode here. Um, I'll keep it a little secret, but you might have probably get a little hint of it in the thumbnail of the video, but I'll just save that until the next time. Thanks again, everyone for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. And in return, I'm just asking if to help me out uh, with this channel, it would be great if you can just hit that like button or better yet, even the subscribe button. Help me grow this channel and uh, just build more and more things and make this more and more of a thing for myself to do. All right. Thank you for watching and I will see everyone on the next one.